my dear people of Southern Cameroons, brief warriors for freedom of Amazonia, accept revolutionary greetings from me on this 27th day of April, in the year of our Lord, 2019. I got up this morning to the news that the chairman of the Social Democratic Front, SDF party, Ni John Frundi, had been kidnapped as he was leading a convoy on his way to Kumbo in Bui County in the northern zone of the Southern Cameroons to bury the remains of the late Honorable Banazam Joseph, who was the chairman or president of the SDF parliamentary group at the House of Assembly of La Republique du Cameroon. Honorable Banazam Joseph, before his demise, had left and deserted his constituency because the people of Bui County joined the people of the Southern Cameroons all over the territory to ask their members of parliament, those who still claimed to be representing them in the House of Assembly of the Colonial La Republic du Cameroon, to resign and return home, like did our forefathers in 1954 when they left Nigeria and returned to Boya and installed a government of the Southern Cameroons to create the country that we are proud of today and that we seek to reclaim today. The failure by Honorable Banazem and all his other peers to respect the will and wishes of the same people whom they claim elected them to go represent them sad the relations between the people of the Southern Cameroons and those so-called representatives. As I speak, reports from the Southern Cameroons indicate that at least 98%, if not 100%, of all those so-called parliamentarians and senators do not reside anymore in Southern Cameroons. This is so because they themselves have come to the clear understanding that by refusing to heed to the cause of the same people they claim to represent, who overwhelmingly today have determined that it is time to restore our lost dignity, that it is time to restore what truly belongs to us, and that it is time to take our destiny back into our hands by seeking total self-determination, they alienated themselves from the people. And today, either dead or alive, it is difficult for them to get to our territory. But our good people of the Southern Cameroons, so jealous of our traditions and cultural heritage, determined that because of that attachment to our roots, the remains of honorable baptism would be taken to Kumbo and buried among his people. This measure was accompanied by a clause that at the same time that the people would accept for Honorable Badnazem to be buried in their midst, they would not want anyone in the administration, anyone for that matter, from the La Republic administration to accompany the cops that desired for it to be a purely family affair so that we will not have any stupid trespasses and some stupid military honors or some stupid decorations on a foreign country on our land. But now, what appears to have happened to the chairman of the Social Democratic Front, Ni John Frundi, today, has been reported to simply have been a moment of communion between him and the self-defense volunteers who wanted to have a moment of exchange in total peace and serenity and exclusivity with him to let him understand a good lot of things that are happening in the community and tell him also the difficulties that they were facing. And this has easily been misconstrued as a kidnap because the sensational 
colonial administration of La Republic du Cameroon is seeking every single opportunity that comes its way to try and tarnish the image of our revolution, especially as Mr. John Frundi did not mince his words when he made clear that a lot of the incidents of kidnappings being reported in the southern Cameroons, say incidents of kidnapping being reported in the southern Cameroons, be it in the southern zone or in the northern zone, are promoted by Paul Bia's regime apparatchiks, most of whom seek to use those kidnappings to turn the population against the leaders of this revolution, to turn the population against their self-defense volunteers. Unfortunately, the people know their shepherds. When they call them, they hear their voices and they follow them. So just as I was coming to do this recording, I received confirmation that the chairman of the Social Democratic Front, Ni John Frundi, has already returned to his journey and joined the convoy and was on his way to the parish in Kumbo at the bishop's house to meet the other dignitaries of the party. Local dignitaries were waiting for him there for the funeral to take place. So much on that. We have heard the colonial government, or rather the colonial governor of Boya, Okalia Bilai Berna, who previously referred to the people of the Southern Cameroons as dogs who were going to be eradicated with all the military might of La Republic du Cameroon, now turn his attention to those enablers, to those people who refused to stand with their population and preferred to be romancing with the devil. Bernard Okalia Bilai now has turned on the same chiefs of the southern zone who continually cooperated, collaborated with the oppressor to tell them the time for them to head to the guillotine has come. We saw this already in the French Revolution that happened way back in 1789 where from Danton to Robespierre to everyone who perpetrated the ills ended up at the guillotine. Now is the turn of the chiefs of the Southwest to be terrorized, to be, trauma to be traumatized, to be dehumanized, to be tingified, and to be reduced to mere objects by Mr. Bernard Okalia Bilai. Do I sympathize with those chiefs? I heard you ask that question. No, of course I won't. Because I've said this over and over, that any time you make yourself banana, expect monkeys to eat you. I've said this over and over, that any time you settle for less than you deserve, you will end up with less than you ever settled for. The chiefs of the southern zone, the funds of the Northern Zone have continued to play with the devil, thinking it is possible to romance the devil and go scot-free, thinking it is possible to enter into a deal with the devil. The devil never keeps to any deal. The devil never respects any engagement. The devil has only one objective, to steal, to maim, and to destroy. And so, I am not surprised. That your turn has come. When you hear the tone that Okalia Bilai Bernard used to address the chiefs of the southern zone, it tells you the level of desperation that the Bia regime has attained. Mr. Okalia Bilai Bernard could not even mask it when he said that the colonial administration will dethrone, I mean dethrone, all the chiefs who will not show up and carry placards. What an aberration. What an abomination. I'm yet to see any situation, even in La Republique du Cameroon, where chiefs have ever marched in front of their people. Oh, take note. Mr. Okalia Bilai Bernard is not saying that these chiefs are going to be marching to please themselves. That he has to sit in the grandstand and let the traditional authorities carry placards and lead their people to march before him and entertain him. 
That is exactly what Mr. Okale Bilai Bernard is saying. My dear brothers and sisters of the Southern Cameroons, even the German colonial administration, that history books tell us were ruthless, never ever tampered with the traditional institutions of the people of the Southern Cameroons. You go back to history books, you see how Dr. Eugene Zingraft respected the form of Bali. How Dr. Eugene Zingraft entered into alliances and respected the form of Bafut. How Dr. Eugene Zingraft respected all the traditional authorities he met everywhere. And they worked with them. And then after that, when the British colonial administration arrived, they even realized it was too important to stay glued to the traditions of the people that they met. And that is why they introduced indirect rule and governed our people through our traditional authorities. So what is coming out of the lips of Bernard Okalia Bilai is a clear demonstration of exactly what Endele EML said way back in the 1950s. That accepting any form of union with La Republic du Cameroon was actually opening our arms to embrace the devil. Today we can see it. Today it is before our very eyes. And I'm sure that the colonial governor of the Northern Zone, Lele Adolf Lafrique, who has already issued an injunction on divisional delegates and of course regional delegates to also be ready to go out there and march before him to entertain him. A thing that had never been seen before is bidding his time to also tell our forms, I mean, tell our forms, whose hands he will never even be able to shake because of our traditions, to also carry placards and march in front of their people to entertain him. This is exactly what you get when you fail to see the dangers coming before you. My dear people of the Southern Cameroons, it is going to be the turn of Mr. Pobia, we're already seeing, to call on all those who call themselves ministers, directors, generals, secretaries, general, serving in the colonial administration of the Republic of Cameroon, to go back home and carry placards themselves and march before the people to please him. Otherwise, he will take away those appointments that they so value and value right above the lives of the very people they claim to be a lead of. This is what happens when people have eyes and refuse to use them to see. This is what happens when people have ears and refuse to use those ears to hear. This is what happens when the people see reality be be before them and refuse to touch and feel it. The time is coming. When you all be made to crawl on your stomach. So please, Mr. Paul Bia, otherwise he will eradicate you. And now, we have all seen Mr. Paul Bia himself take to social media with a frenzy. But most importantly, he said one thing that could never elude my attention. Mr. Paul Bia said on his Facebook page, this is the time for all the people of his so-called Cameroon to come together and promote true national unity underline the word true. Mr. Paul Bia is clearly, he does unambiguously admitting that for 57 years, there had never been anything called true national unity. Mr. Paul Bia is clearly admitting that for 57 going to 58 years, we had been totally under subjugation, under slavery, and under recolonization. And that today, he wants to bring some kind of beautiful words to lure the doubting Thomases, to lure those people still thinking that they can have anything to do with that regime in the name of federation, to believe that they will ever have any consideration in that triangle. Now I've seen Prince Ekoso, who had always shouted at the top of his voice, I'm not Amazonian, I am not this, I'm not that, who always screamed, yes, he is for what I call it decentralization, 10-state federation, or whatever form of federation. But I've not seen him 
become a town crier, crying on all social media forums, saying, stop Okada Bernard before it destroys the chiefs of the, of, 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 of the southern zone. Stop Okada Bilai Bernard before he finishes our traditions. My dear people, this is the time, more than ever before, for each and every one of us to examine our consciences and switch trains. Join the restoration train if you are still lingering. Because this is the time for us to put all our forces together and cross the finish line. You can see for yourself that the international finance community has deserted Mr. Paul Bia. The agencies have demonstrated very clearly now that Mr. Paul Bia's government will find it difficult to obtain loans from wherever in the world. Where he will succeed in getting those loans, the interest will be cutthroat. By the way, he doesn't care about, in, about interest. So he will continue to multiply and, you know, do anything to get his way. But the people he will imprison to pay those debts will be the people of the Republic of Cameroon, not the people of the Southern Cameroons. My dear people, this is the time for us to rise up and do what is right. The Southern Cameroon's Liberation Council has issued a release validating a proposal from our people on the territory in the Southern Cameroons that there will be ghost towns on the 29th, on the 30th of April, and on the 1st of May to make sure that since you express yourselves, you will not want to have anything to do with Labor Day celebrations because there's nothing to celebrate this year that everyone will stay home. And then, again in May, on the 19th and 20th of May, that's on Sunday the 19th and on Monday the 20th, there will be serious ghost towns, just so that we stay clear of all the evil plans of Mr. Paul Bia to come, trying to tell the world that we still have anything to do with them and that we still believe in any fake thing called national unity. Because these measures are simply a validation of proposals from our people on the territory, we urge you all to respect these measures and to cooperate with your self-defense volunteers who will be doing everything it takes to assure your security. God is with us.